This is the beaded Kenyan bracelet, which is one of, if not the most famous beaded bracelet in this entire world. Today, I'm going to be teaching you on how to make this beautiful piece. And before we embark on that journey, kindly hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and also hit that like button so that anytime we have a new content, you'd be first to know. So the materials you'll require to make this beaded bracelet is this beautiful seed beads, which are supposed to be in the Kenyan colors, which are black, white, red, green. And the, this 0 0.3, 0 millimeters fishing line and a nail cutter, of course, to cut your fishing line with. So you begin by picking four black beads like that. You should have four black beads on your fishing line. You cut your fishing line to approximately 30 inches length. And then you crisscross like that on the first bead, as you can see on the screen. You should also balance your fishing line by holding both tips like that. And then you pull your bead. This helps the fishing line to be uniform until the end. When you're finishing, you won't have an imbalanced fishing line. So you should have a plus or a cross that looks like that. So we proceed by adding one bead on each side and then we add a second one on the right hand like that as you can see. And then we crisscross like this and then you pull. So this here that we are using is called the right angle weave pattern. That's what we are going to be using to make our beaded bracelet today. And we are starting with a straight black line of five heads. So we've added, basically we are just repeating the same thing. We put two black beads on the right hand, one black bead on the left, and then we crisscross on the final black bead. You should have something like this. And we proceed. So those are three heads um, and our bracelet needs to get to five heads. Remember that. So this is the fourth head that we are adding. We've put two black beads on the right hand and one black bead on the left. Then we've crisscrossed with the final black bead on the right hand. So where we've gotten to, we want to make a corner so that we can continue with our bracelet. So we pick two black beads on the right hand and one black bead on the left, of which we crisscross on the one black bead from the left. Kindly note that we've done that so that we can make a corner. And here, as you can see, we have been able to do our corner and we have five black heads there. So we proceed by putting one black bead and followed by two white beads, as you can see. By doing this, we crisscross on the final white bead like that. And we are making the letter K for Kenya. Remember, in this beaded tutorial, we are going also to teach you how to make letters or beaded letters in a bracelet. So we are starting with letter K. It's going to be in white. And then we proceed to white beads on the right hand. And then we crisscross with the final white bead, as you can see on the screen. And then you pull, just make sure to pull with enough tension to make sure that your bracelet is not wobbly. It's going to be one that's a very rigid or firm and straight bracelet. So just apply moderate pressure when you're pulling the fishing line and then you proceed on to the next. The same thing, you put two white beads on the right hand and then you crisscross on the final 
white bead like that as you can see and then we continue you pass the fishing line on the left hand through the next black bead as you have seen and then you pick two white beads if this is your first time in doing this right angle beading it's going to be a little bit tricky so you can just take it easy or you can try using a plain color first once you familiarize using one color you can now come to using or mixing two colors as you can see i've flipped the our bracelet and i'm putting the black and white bead that's at the final corner here we are also making another corner so that we can continue the bracelet and this is the bottom or the top end of the letter k it's going to be a thick letter k so we're going to make it bold by adding more white here so we're at the very bottom we've put two black beads and white one white bead and crisscrossed on it and then you make sure you pass your fishing line through the next white bead as you can see on the screen the beauty about this pattern is once you understand it you'll realize that it's mostly repetition so we've picked one black bead followed by one white bead then we crisscross on the final white bead as you can see on the screen and then we pull our fishing line on both ends and you should have something like this also we are going to show you how to add a fishing line onto an existing bracelet once your fishing line finishes so kindly watch to the end so that you can see what to do when your fishing line is over how to add a new fishing line onto your bracelet and how to properly tie your fishing line once it ends so we move on swiftly just make sure to always pass the fishing line through the bead on the left and you add the beads from your right hand like this so we've added one black bead and one white bead and then you pull so this video is also meant to show you the amount of time and concentration and dedication it takes for you to be able to make the most common or the most popular beaded bracelet which is the beaded bracelet with the kenyan flag and also on this bracelet we are also going to have the shield so kindly stay tuned if we if you're not able to manage this on this tutorial we're going to have it on the second tutorial and you can also let us know on the comment section down below what you'd like or what you'd love us to improve on so that you'd learn more as you can see we've added three black beads on the right hand and we crisscross on the final black bead as you can see if you're a beginner and you're finding it quite difficult to follow with this tutorial don't give up we are going to make a tutorial for beginners using plain colors so that you can be able to follow that tutorial before you come to this one this is a slightly more advanced tutorial because we are mixing different colors and we are also making letters but it's also a very good tutorial for you if you love to learn how to make letters as you can see here we are making the letter k which is the beginning letter for the word kenya which is going to be on our beautiful beaded Kenyan bracelet. And here we've added two white beads from the right and then we crisscross. So this tutorial is aimed at enlightening you 
who would love to learn how to do beadwork or you would love to have a beaded Kenyan bracelet or any beaded bracelet so that you'd see the behind the scenes that goes on in making your beautiful bracelet. The beauty about these bracelets is they do not break because the fishing line that we use, which is the 0.30 millimeters fishing line, is very strong and doesn't break easily and also can live for over five years without any damages. As long as you're using it properly, this bracelet is known to live for a lifetime. So you can also let us know the next beaded bracelet that you'd love. Also, um, the country that you're watching us from, feel free to comment on the comment section down below. Or you can even suggest your country flag. So kindly let me see your country flag on the comment section down below. And if you'd like to reach out, maybe you'd like some private classes or you'd like to reach out and make an order, feel free to reach out. Our contact will be in the description down below with our email and possibly our phone contacts. So as you can see here, the letter K has started to form. You can clearly see it. And it's going to be a thick letter K. Also, if you don't know how to make the letters, especially this letter, which are thick or bold, please let me know on the comment section down below if that's something you'd love to learn. So we're making quite very good progress on our bracelet and we are at the corner there. So we've crisscrossed on the white bead. As you can see, I'm making this tutorial to be as slow as possible. And I really hope that it's very clear so that you can be able to see clearly how to make your bracelet. If you are not seeing this clearly, you can just tap on your settings on the top right hand corner and go to video quality because I've recorded this quality on 1080p. You can be able to watch it on 720p, 360p or the best quality is at 1080p where you're going to be able to see this as crystal clear as possible and you can be able to follow this step by step. So for those of you who have been able to reach at this point, thank you so much. I'd really like to urge you to not forget to hit that like button because it shows the algorithm that you loved this tutorial and it will also recommend it to other people. So we are proceeding on slowly. Also, this tutorial is recorded in real time so that you can be able to follow step by step one bit at a time as we make our beautiful Kenyan themed beaded bracelet. As you can see, we have only almost taken 14 minutes just to make this letter K, which goes to show you the amount of time and work that goes into making a beaded bracelet. So the next time you're getting a beaded bracelet from someone when you're ordering or when you're buying it from someone, especially directly to, from the bead artist, please remember that this takes quite a lot of time. It's not something that you'd 
go and print or anything it's literally this is the secret that's how it's done so we are done with letter k and we proceed so as i was saying beadwork is quite a labor intensive work to do so the next time you're getting your product from someone please be kind to them and also reasonable because this is not easy work to do especially to get all the bids right and one thing that people need to know is if you get anything wrong when you're making this type of art which is beadwork you literally have to undo everything until that point where you have made the mistake so it's a very unforgiving type of art especially if you make a mistake you'd be forced to undo everything so say i find out that i put a brown bead on the letter k as we were beginning and i didn't notice it and i've gotten to this point i literally have to undo everything until where the bead the wrong bead i had put and then replace it and then start over again so that's sort of also a warning to those of you who want to do paid work just remember that you need to be very keen it's one of the best forms of art because it requires your full attention which then translates to helping you break off from a lot of stressing issues because your mind and your full focus will be on what you're making so here we are about to start making the letter e which will be in red that is quite significant from our flag from the kenyan flag we have the red color kindly on the comment section down below let us know what does the red color represent on the kenyan flag i repeat the kenyan flag has the red color what does it signify i know a lot of you know that answer so let us meet on the comment section down below and let me know what it represents because other people don't know you can also as well expound on the black color the white color the green color let people know what do these colors mean so let's meet on the comment section down below there and explain to people what these colors mean so we're making the red bit as you can see and follow which is going to be the letter e for our kenya and it's also going to be a bold one so kindly don't forget to hit that subscribe button share this content with someone that you know would love to learn or would really appreciate to know the background on how this bracelets are done or are made and um, one may ask what are some of the significance of this bracelet well culturally as kenyans especially from the maasai tribe the people from the maasai tribe do a lot of beadwork and basically this is where they created the original kenyan bracelet and over the years it has been one if not the best identity and pride of the kenyan 
people because it's something that most Kenyans put on every day. It's something that they don't remove. So you can easily identify a Kenyan anywhere in the world or someone who has been to Kenya or someone that appreciates the Kenyan culture by seeing this beautiful bracelet on their hands. So this is one bracelet that easily identifies any Kenyan and also by buying this bracelet you empower the beader who most of the times are the Maasai women and lately we've been having people like us or other creatives and slowly it's becoming a culture that people are interested in learning how to do this skill so we find that most people are also modernizing the designs you find we are getting many different designs from this single Kenyan bracelet and if you stick to the end you'd be able to see on our outro the different designs of beadwork that we are able to make. Beading in this generation is playing a much needed role because most of the young guys with little or no employment or even those guys who are employed but really love art and would love to do something on the side are now converting this skill and getting money from it by simply making bracelets and selling them on their free time. So they're able to earn a living, earn some money on the side. And for guys like those in high school or even university are able to make some extra income money that they use for their tuition or some pocket money. So this is one beautiful skill that you'd really appreciate long term if you understand and learn it because it's going to help you in the long term. So as you can see here, our letter E has fully formed and we're going step by step. So we're finishing here. We've put one black and red bead on the left and we crisscross through the one red bead on the right like that. And then we pull our fishing line. So here we have our letter E. So we've started with letter K. Now we are on letter E, which is the beginning of the word Kenya that we are going to have on our bracelet. So because we need some spacing between our letters, we're going to have one full line of the black beads that we have already started putting here. It's going to go all the way to the top in just black. So we're going to add only two beads as we've been doing. This is the right angle weave pattern. So we've added two black beads. We crisscross on the one black bead there. And then we pull and then we pass the fishing line through the red bead, which is next. And if you're noticing, our fishing line is almost going to finish. So kindly stick until our fishing line finishes so that you can be able to learn 
how to add fishing line onto a bracelet when it finishes so you're just going to go until the end of this black line and then we add our fishing line at the end so that we can proceed onto the next letter with a new fishing line <laughs> kindly feel free to share on the comment section down below your bidding journey and how it has helped you earn some extra income and you can also check out my social media pages on instagram at stike underscore arts and see more of the products that my team and i have been making over the years so what we have here is the letter ke which is also an abbreviation for kenya some bracelets are just left at that with the ke and then you put the shield or you just put the straight um, stripes with the black white red white green colors to represent kenya so ke is also abbreviation for kenya that's another design that you can decide to do and next we're going to be putting the letter n in green so as i asked you guys earlier kindly let us know the meaning of these colors on the comment section down below so that for those people who do not know they'll be able to learn and know the meaning of these beautiful colors which are black white red and green so we're putting the green color we we refer to it as avocado green uh two beads there on the right and then we're crisscrossing on the final green bead there like that so this way we have started making the letter n for kenya and this is also a tutorial for how to make the bold letters k e n y and a so you can simply use this knowledge to make a different word you don't necessarily have to do the word kenya but if your name starts with letter e you could as well learn how to do letter e from this same tutorial so as you can see here everything is real time and um, our fishing line is almost coming to an end and we do not let it finish completely so we are going to put one final line and then we can be able to finish up or close this fishing line so that we can add a new fishing line so remember to pass your fishing line through the next bead as you can see and i believe if you've made it this far you are now able to do right angle the right angle weave pattern by yourself i'm quite sure you're really competent right now because this is uh, something that once you've done it over and over again you'd be able to really understand and with practice also you get to become better so if you didn't get it right the first time kindly don't give up you can undo your work redo it again but once you get the basic principles of the right angle with pattern you can be able to do this pattern with different designs and different letters and you'd be able to make a lot of beautiful products of which you can find on our social media handle which is stike underscore arts on instagram facebook and also on pinterest
so here what we're doing is we are finishing off this fishing line which has become quite short so we have about two inches to work with so we are going to be winding the fishing line going backwards like that so that we can hide the fishing line properly i've seen some guys um maybe making knots and cut and lighting the tips either burning the tips so that they can close off the knots but at the end of the day that is not usually a very a neat work so to have a neat finish when you're adding your fishing line this is what you do you make the fishing line you pass it through the previous work like what you're seeing me do here this way you're going to make the work actually very rigid and also you are hiding the fishing line neatly so this will not make your work look bad or you'll not have a lot of knots and your work would be really reinforced and really sturdy and beautiful at the end of the day which is what we are looking forward to and um, by the end of this tutorial i do believe that you'll be able to make your own beaded kenyan bracelet and there i've gotten to a distance where i feel that the fishing line is steady enough and i'm adding a new fishing line so that's simply how you add a new fishing line onto your work you put three beads and you crisscross on this final black bead as you can see make sure to balance your fishing line by holding both tips and pulling your work just as you can see here and then you pass the fishing line through the next bead work there like that so that's basically how you add a new fishing line that's how you finish off a fishing line and you add a new fishing line it's as simple as that so you continue kindly let us know in the comment section down below what you didn't understand or what you'd like to see on the next video so that we can prepare a more detailed video for you guys that you'd really enjoy and learn from it so we've added green beads there and we crisscrossed the pull like that and you have our letter n that is really forming it's a very beautiful letter and with this contrast especially on the black background it really looks presentable and neat so let us know what you'd love to see on the next tutorial and um, as, I, as you can see we are almost 35 minutes into our tutorial so i'm going to break this tutorial into at least two parts so that you can be able to take a break check on your progress and then when we come back on the next tutorial you'll be able to continue and also learn how to make the kenyan shield and also learn how to add a fishing line if you haven't how to put on this bracelet so kindly don't forget to hit that notification bell so that anytime we have a new tutorial or new video you'll be first to know and to follow so if you've gotten to this 
part of the video, kindly comment with your country flag on the comment section down below. You never know, I might be making your country flag next on our videos. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and also comment with your country flag on the comment section down below so that we can be able to see the majority of the flags that are commented. We promise to make a tutorial on that particular country. As you can see, this letter is coming out quite neatly and we're just using the basic principles that we had started with when we were making the letter K and beadwork requires a lot of patience but it's a very beautiful and fun thing to do if you really like it and um, I've seen a lot of people who have tried beadwork for the first time and they've been able to make a lot of different patterns so i'd really like to see your products at the end you can also reach out through the contacts that will be provided in the description so that you can share your product and i can be able to share the outcome that you have made on the community tab so also look out for the community tab where i'll be posting some of the products that have been done by fellow subscribers so it's my greatest hope that you have been able to follow step by step until this point and you're still following and I really hope that you're learning something. So a quick question is, would you prefer this type of video where I speak and take you step by step? Or you'd rather I remain silent and let some ambient music, for example, this. So you let us know if you prefer my sound to take you step by step through this tutorial or you'd rather I'd put some ambient music, maybe some subtitles and let you follow step by step by yourself. So this is our final bit where we are finishing to do the letter n and we are going to continue the next in our part two where we'd show you how to make the letter y a and the beautiful kenyan flag including the coat of arms so kindly stay tuned to see that and here i'm going to show you some of the other products that we do so kindly don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tell a friend to tell a friend to come check out what we do here we have necklaces beaded servet holders anklets wall hangings earrings lanyards beaded bracelets beaded shoes, we have beaded rings, vases, key holders, name them. So let us know what you'd love to see on our next tutorial. What you'd love us to make for you, you can also make an order. Our contacts will be on the description down below. So let us know what you'd like to see or what you'd love to order from us. And I'm really 
looking forward to hearing from you guys thanks a lot for watching and see you on our next video